Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, what I'm gonna start, what I, what I am, wow, what I am going to try to start doing is um, filming some of my workout routines, um, so you guys can get some ideas either for your own exercises or see how certain um, workouts and exercises are performed. Uh, but either way, I hope you enjoy these videos. If you have any feedback or any type of videos you want to see, you can leave it down in the comments. Um, but for now, I'm going to go through my leg workout routine that I started. Um, so for this first set, I'm doing squats um, with a barbell. I'm starting with 115, so 235 pounds, uh, 235 pound plates on each, on one on each side. Um, I'm doing for that for that weight. I just did one set of 10. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a knee brace. I'm still trying to recover from a little bit of uh, tendinopathy in my knee. Uh, for this next set, I am doing 135, so 145 pound plate on each side. Um, since I can't do super heavy weight, what I've been doing is trying to focus on my form and slow down the movement. And by slowing down the movement, um, I can really focus on um, getting optimal muscle contraction. And by doing that, you can also build muscle that way too. It doesn't have to be just super heavy weight. Um, so that's what I've been focusing on recently for squatting, um, just set because of my injury. Um, so once I'm done with that set, I actually did two more sets. I just didn't film every single set I did. Um, so next, what I started to do was the leg press machine. Um, again, I started pretty light for this as well. I put a uh, 135-pound plate on each um, side. Uh, for this, I was just doing a warm-up set, focusing again, focusing on form, I'm really trying to feel the contraction in my muscles, so it's I can't do super heavy weight. Um, I only did one set with that weight, and then I moved on to doing 45 pound plates on one on each side. Um, same thing for this for the leg press. I like to have a really slow um, eccentric movement, and then ex explode a little bit coming up. Um, and by doing that, I feel like I can really feel um, the exercise that I'm doing, which has helped me. Um, and it's, I've actually seen improvements doing it that way. It's not the only right way, but that's just how I've been doing it recently. Um, next, I moved the pelvic thrust. Um, this is a kind of a new exercise I actually started doing. Um, this is great for building those glutes. Um, for this one, I started with 35 pound plates on each side. Um, same kind of deal, um, a nice slow movement throughout, really trying to focus on form. Um, the main thing is after I come up with my hips, I'm coming, I'm trying to slowly come back down and get that eccentric movement as well. Um, I feel like that's really helped with not only being sore the next uh, couple of days, but help with building those glutes. Um, so the next, I only did one set. Uh, with the 135, that was kind of a, a warm up for me. After that, I moved to 45 pound plates on each side, just one of them. Um, same kind of deal, nice and slow movement. Um, I've been doing these on on just my uh, bench for bench press, but these can kind of be done anywhere where there's padding, so you don't destroy your back. Um, and yes, I am using a pad um, to do these on, just so you don't destroy your your hips. Um, so for this, I did, I did the, this first set, and then I also did two more sets with those 45 pound plates. Um, after that, I moved on to doing uh, the, knee, the knee extension machine. Um, for this, I also decided to go pretty light. These, I don't really like to go super heavy. Um, I usually do these towards the end of my exercises uh, for legs. And this is more of an exercise that I focus on contracting the muscles and really having that slow movement um, throughout, even when my knees are not hurting me. Um, I just feel like I get a better work. Um, I feel like they're more effective, is what I'm trying to say, um, when I do them slowly. Next, I move on to the hamstring, hamstring curls or knee flexion. Um, I went a little bit heavier on these. I always feel like I can go a little bit heavier um, working my hamstrings than my uh, quads. Um, one thing I noticed about this exercise that's important is having your knee 
um, directly aligned with the axis point. If, if that's off, even by a little bit, at least for me, I've noticed that you can put a lot of strain on your knees. So um, a tip for that is just to make sure that your knees are lined up um, with the axis point of the machine. Um, so then to end my workout, I did um, heel raises just with dumbbells. Um, I don't have tons of equipment in my basement, so I kind of make do with what I have. Um, but I was using, I believe those are 35 pound weights. Um, and what I did was I did uh, 30 reps and I did that three times. So 90 repetitions in total. Um, again, these, these uh, can be done kind of using any machine if you want. You can do them on the leg press. You can even do them on the hack squat machine as well. But uh, today I decided to do them um, just standing with dumbbells just because I found that to be easier. Um, I did do these uh, three sets, like I said. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much um, my leg workout for today. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do for future videos, leave them down in the comments. And if you like this video, please uh, share it and subscribe. Thanks, guys.